What's up guys welcome back to Android app development tutorial of SmartHerd. Now in this tutorial I will start my discussion on notifications in Android. This is going to be a series of 7 to 8 video tutorials based on notifications. Now in this part 1 tutorial I will just show you the overview, what is notification, what are the types of notification, what is the concept of stack behind the notifications. Now first of all you must be aware in the Android operating system at the top is navigation drawer. When you pull this navigation drawer then you might have seen these notifications are appearing. There are actually many different kinds of notification present in the Android. Now what are the types of notification? Based on the view the notification is broadly categorized into normal view and big view. Now these two views are further categorized into regular activity, special activity. In similar way the big view is also categorized into regular activity and special activity. So the regular and special activity are the broad categories of two broader sections of normal view and the big view. Now the question arises what is normal view and what is big view? Now on the basis of view there are two types normal view and big view as I showed you in the last slide. Now the normal view actually looks like this and the big view actually looks like this. Now the difference between the normal view and big view you can depict from these two images itself. Here you can check out the big view has the broader section for the text message to be displayed. Now let me show you one by one what are the main components of the notification. At the top 5 new message is actually the content title. The second one is actually the large icon that you have to set while building the notification in the Java code. The third is the content text. Fourth one is actually the content information which is written here. Fine. Fifth one is actually small icon. Now this small icon and large icon if you want you can make both the icon same or if you want you can customize your large and small icon with separate images. Sixth one is actually the time. Now this time is by default 1356 whatever fine. If you want you can customize your time as per your requirement but by default the time is the current time which the Android operating system is having fine. Now let's come to our seventh component. This seventh component is actually the detail area which is only present in case of big view. Fine. Now this detail area can be further categorized which can have a detail text area, a detail picture area or you can say a detail inbox text area. Now guys below the detailed area at the bottom it is actually the summarization of 13 notification. Now this content info here is 12 and here it is 13. Now these are showing here the user is having the 12 messages or you can say the user has received 12 emails. User has received the 13 emails right. So the content info shows how many notifications are summarized altogether, which belongs to the same activity. So we will check out each and every component in detail when we will start coding in the next video. Now from the last slide you know this type of notification is actually the normal view. Now the big view is actually categorized into three major broad categories. Now the first category is actually the big picture style. Now it shows the detail area containing the bitmap up to 256 dp tall in the detailed section. Now this detail section is nothing but this detail area fine and the big picture style notification looks somewhat like this. Now here you can check out instead of text area it is having what a displayable image. The second major category of the big view notification is actually a big text style which I showed you in the last slide. Now this big text style is actually look like this. Here at the top it is having some title and below it a detailed text area is present instead of a detailed picture area. Fine. Now the third one is actually the inbox style which displays a line of text in the detail section. Now what does that mean? Now this means the inbox style big view appears somewhat like this. Now suppose 
Now suppose you want to display the messages to the user line by line. So this inbox style is very useful in displaying message in such type. So we saw the normal view and the three broad categories of this big view. Fine. Now let's proceed. Few slides earlier we saw the big view and the normal view is broadly categorized into regular activity and special activity. Now what does this regular activity and special activity actually means? Now suppose we are having an activity in the regular type and also we are having an activity in the special type. Now on the click of this show notification button from the activity A we are able to generate a notification. Now suppose we hit this button and the notification at the top generates which is being displayed in the navigation drawer. Now guys this notification that is appearing this text whatever it is there it is actually a ticker that we have to set in our Java code which I will show you later. Now this notification in the regular type suppose it looks like this and in the special type it looks like this fine now. When you click this notification in both the cases then we are migrated to the another activity of the same application activity B. Now this is activity B of regular type and this is activity B of special type of notification. Now the question arises till now everything seems to be fine everything seems to be similar. So where is the difference now the difference arises now inside the red box you can see a back button is present at the title bar. Now what this back button stands for now here in activity B of the special type you can't find any button here. The difference between the regular and the special activity comes into picture. Now from here if you press the back button then you will be migrated back to the main activity or you can say the activity A of the same application. But in this case in the special case if you migrate back by pressing the back button from the activity B you will be migrated straight to the home screen. Now you won't be able to see the main activity or you can say the activity A of the regular type applications or notifications. Now after this from here if you press the back button then you will be migrated to the home page or the home screen of your Android operating system. Now this is the only difference between the regular and special type of activity present in the notification. Now what is the background process going on behind the regular notifications and special type of notifications. Let's check it out. In the activity life cycle I showed you the activities work on the stack. It works on the concept of stack last in first out. Now in the regular notification suppose we hit this notification now according to the previous slide that you saw we will be migrated to the activity B and after that if you press the back button then we will be migrated to the activity A. So how do it happens now as soon as this notification is generated now inside the stack we are having first the activity A and after that first the activity B. Now the activity at the top of the stack is always visible. So we are able to watch the activity B in front of us. Now if you press the back button then in that case activity A gets visible and activity B here gets popped out. So this is a concept of stack that we saw in our activity life cycle. Fine the similar thing is happening here. Again the activity A is at top so we are able to see the activity A. Now again if we hit the back button then in that case we will be able to see our home screen of our Android operating system. So which means the activity A which was earlier at the top of the stack will be now popped out so our stack will be completely empty. Now let's check out the case of the special activity. Now inside the special activity what are the stuffs which is going on. Now this is our special activity notification from the previous slide we know in the special activity notification we are migrated to activity B and from there when we press the back button we are migrated to the home screen. So what is actually happening now as soon as this notification is generated the stack will be filled by only one activity activity B which is the activity to which we are migrating to. So when we click on this notification we will be redirected to the activity B which is actually at the top of the stack. Now from here if you press the back button then in that case 
the home screen will appear which means this activity is destroyed and our stack becomes empty so if the stack is empty then the home screen will be visible in front of you which is the basic concept of stack in android fine so this was all about the basics of notification in android now let us see what are the topics we are going to cover in our series of these tutorials now first we are going to check out normal notifications big picture style big text style inbox style all in details second we are going to see the regular activity case and special activity case of both the views normal view and the big view using the concept of pending intent now what is pending intent i will show you in the notification tutorials itself fine so please don't worry about it now third we will check out how to update the current notifications and also how to remove the notifications in android fine now fifth one we will check out how we are going to use the progress dialog in our notifications in android now while downloading something from the play store or any other website in the notification you might have seen the progress dialog is running which is showing what is the progress of download which is going on fine so we will check out the concept of progress dialog in notifications and next we will check out how to summarize the multiple notifications that i showed you few slides earlier next we are going to use a custom notifications in android so all these topics i will cover one by one all in detail i will show you all these concepts of notification in android like you have never seen before so stay tuned guys catch you guys in the next video and meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video and thanks for watching have a good day